subscribe to Dump Theft. Drivers who they say routinely shut down the intersection. Simone says despite some police response, the group keeps coming back. This video posted November 11th. Anybody calls and sees that type of activity, we will respond. It is something that we're responding to. Tells us they are in the operational phase of trying to stop these groups engaging in what they call swinging and describe as reckless and illegal behavior. What up, Dope the fam? It's your boy Dope 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 here with another video. And today, guys, I finally got some of these parts in that I ordered uh, that I told you guys about last time. So I did get the new headlights for the OBS, but those won't be going on until a future video because I'm waiting for some LED lights, bulbs to come in for that. And then I'm also going to be changing out the whole front grill. So I don't want to put on the headlights and then have to redo everything on the new grill. So if you don't know, um, I do have to take off the whole grill to install the headlights because they come in brackets. And then the bottom ones, go they go drilled into the new grill or the existing grill. So I don't want to have to do all that mess all over again. So we're just going to wait till the new grill comes in and then we're going to get the install done. But the new billet aluminum fuel cap did come in. So we're going to be doing this little install real quick. Um, like I told you guys last time, this one really bothers me when the tank's really full um, or not even that full, but like, I don't know. It, there's a point to it to where it gets stuck on me and like right now it's kind of pretty easy to take off but sometimes I struggle this little gasket on it right here kind of tends to get stuck sometimes so and plus it looks pretty um what can I say looks pretty stock simple black this one this one looks looks sick and it kind of matches my stainless steel tank so that's gonna be a really good uh, little combination, you know, stainless steel, stainless steel. Uh, this one just has a cap, so it just screws on with threads. It also has a gasket in here, and then it came with this new gasket that's gonna go under here to seal up any, any gaps. So I already got the drill out here. Um, obviously, I gotta take this off because I gotta catch the nuts from underneath so they don't fall into the gas. So yeah, let's get this uh, install started, guys. All right, guys, so it looks like it wasn't a nut, actually, that were underneath. It was this plastic, like a plastic plate with little nuts installed. And that's pretty much a wet underneath. So that's there. Um, here's the old gasket. And here's the other piece. So that's pretty cool. So now um, this just goes on top. Let me place the new gasket in there. I'm going to have to take this off so I can put my hand in to grab that plate and fit it underneath as well. But yeah pretty easy that was gonna be harder than that i might end up um changing out these bolts for something more um i don't want to say fancy but more elegant maybe something chromed out i know uh i know ace hardware sells chromed out uh hardware so i think i'm gonna be looking for some of that just to make the whole you know install setup look cleaner but for now we'll be using these they're so good so 12 of these, we'll save this just in case we ever need to use it again. And yeah, uh, set you guys back up here. Alright guys, so we're having a bit of trouble. Looks like these holes aren't lining up 100%. So the only thing I can think of doing is having to drill these holes a little bit bigger. Which sucks, but looks like that's what I'm gonna have to do. So 
So I'm gonna go get up my, uh, go get a drill and just tap these a little bit bigger. Hopefully not too much, but yeah. All right, so I just grabbed this little diamond tip. Uh, pretty much is just gonna drill the next size up. And I'm just gonna do that to all of them. I'll have my hand with this rag underneath to catch any shavings. Alright, so the install is done guys, it looks way better, um, it was a little bit hard of an install, I thought it was, I thought it was going to be kind of like a plug and play thing where unscrew the old one, screw this new one, obviously you guys saw the holes weren't kind of lining up, so I ended up making the holes a little bit bigger, and then obviously everything kind of forced itself thin, so it should be good, um, I don't see any problems with it. I got all the shavings caught, so nothing went went inside the fuel cell. So that should be foot. So that should be good. Um, but yeah, gotta make sure I push this in all the time because sometimes it'd be sticking out. But yeah, I think it looks good, guys. What do you guys think? The fuel cell. I want to swap it out. Um, I did end up scratching it a little bit with the, the, with the socket, but I think what I'm gonna end up doing is when I buy the, the new hardware, I'll buy little chrome washers and it'll hide the ugliness. But other than that, I'm pretty um, stoked about this new install, guys. What do you guys think? Should I go back to the old one or is this one sick as fuck? And so another reason I kind of went with this one is remember I told you guys I want to do like a race flooring. So the race flooring, I wanted to come up right underneath the cap. That way the cap is the only thing exposed for the fuel cell. That way I can screw it and unscrew it. Um, with the other one, I could still kind of do the same thing, but it would have to be just a hole. And then you would have to put your hand inside the hole to uncap it. And I think this is just much cleaner and it looks way better and it matches my stainless steel and the chrome compressors. So yeah, um, I'm about to get ready guys. We're gonna do another park and chill with bowls, part two. This time we collaborated with uh, so-called um, Arizona and who else? Uh, Blazing Concepts. So should be a good turnaround guys. Catch you guys in a bit. All right guys, so we're at this touchless car wash that I like to go through. And uh, the first time I came, I seen that sign that said no dualies because it's gonna damage your bed and the machine because it's too wide. And I was like, I wonder if my bed's too wide because it has that little nalgak sticking out. But I went through it and nothing happened, so I've been coming here ever since. Sometimes I wash it over here, but when I'm too lazy, I just wash it over here. And then obviously, yep. we hit it with that dip coat say what's up Jen what's up but yeah we're gonna go through this car wash real quick and then we're gonna head to the meat to the meat catch you guys there what's Calvin it's gonna be our first time pumping gas guys in the new in the new cat alright let's see how easy it is So what I do is I kind of just keep an eye on it. Once it starts looking full, 
I usually stop. So, pretty much full. Now we can put the cat back on. Hold up, baby. And we're ready to go again. And remember, we gotta tuck this in. We're good to go. Got in? Come inside. A few moments later. So guys, unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to make it. Look at that damage. Oh. I got hit, guys. I got hit. Fuck me. Pulled up to the truck, parking chill still. My truck's fucked, but the homie Sadasino came through and pulled, it, picked me up. There's everybody that's pulled up so far. We got so called. We got dirty racing. Obviously the bulls. We're still waiting for uh, Blazing Concepts to pull up. And uh, yeah, hopefully it's a good turnaround. If not, shit, we're about to leave in an hour and go eat then. <laughs> but yeah. So we left the meet, the meet was a successful uh, meet. A lot of people pulled up this time. More than last time for sure, we filled up both parking lots. But we got hungry. The meet was about to end in 30 minutes anyway, so we had it from seven to 10, it was 9.30 right now. We came to Texas Roadhouse with the crew. About to go grub. Get some food. I think I'm gonna end the vlog here, guys. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Catch you guys in the next one. Perfect, perfect.